guys, it's Bella. Welcome to Beauty on a Budget and another Saturday Extra. Now today my extra is a tag that was sent to me from my lovely friend Pauline from Pauline Just For Living. I will link her channel below. Um, she tagged me to do this and I knew it would be good because um, Pauline's such a character and she does things, she's so lovely. So I knew it would be good. Now then. The tag is, if you saw the thumbnail, you've got a year and you've only got four items. You can only have four items, two um, skincare and two makeup. So you could only have those for a year, what four would you pick? Oh my goodness, did this take some time on one thing and then I swapped and changed and then I couldn't make my mind up. But I think, well I'm sure I've come up with the four now, that if I could only have four, these are the ones I think would work for me. So we'll take the makeup first. Now you know guys that I am a budget girl. I, I made this channel for budget. I Whatever happens I want to stick to that because of my passion for, you know, turn people on budget they can do it. But in this case, you've got to remember guys, we're only going to buy four things. Maybe we have to repeat them during the year, but we're only going to buy four things. So all the other things we would have bought, no. Um, so in this case, I would buy definitely an It Cosmetic CC Cream. And the reason for that is the ingredients in it. Not only is it a lovely coverage, not only is it you use it very, very sparingly. You don't need a lot of it at all. But also because it contains a sunscreen of 50, 50 SPF. Now that's done away with the re need for me to buy a sunscreen. Because the sunblock is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing, isn't it guys? So if we've already got it in the CC cream, we haven't got to worry about that. Plus we've got a lovely clear complexion, um, which is always the base, which is always what matters most to me i i think it does um yes i would definitely go for that without doubt so definitely the it cosmetic cc cream for lots of reasons you've got the lovely coverage you don't need to use a lot you can use it very sparingly and you've got the spf of 50 which is so so important for us girls and um you've got it all all in one thing so if you've only got four things to have that all together in one thing definitely so i one of the products that i would take for makeup is definitely the it cosmetic cc cream now the second one was a dilemma <laughs> do i go for color do i go for what do i go for guys i have to wear mascara if i didn't wear anything else i have to wear mascara it's it just finishes my look. I mean a base and then mascara. They're the two things that I, I wear all the time. Um, so obviously if I've only got two things, they're the two things I'm going to pick. Again, I would buy a slightly more higher end mascara than I would buy every day. Because it's got to... It's got to do the eyes all together, ain't it? There's nothing else that's got to, what's got to pop the eyes. So we want a good lash builder. We want one that will look after the lashes. We also want one that can be versatile. And I'll tell you what I mean by that, guys. I've chosen the y YSL um, Baby Doll or False Lash or any of those that come from YSL. They're all much of a much and they're lovely. They're they are my holy grail mascaras um and i'll tell you why i would pick a brown the reason i would pick brown is if it's a good mascara and it really really will build up which ysl would brown will be okay yes i normally wear black but if it's a good popping mascara and it really really works and it's going to give you a fake less effect then brown would be fine. But also with brown, if I was really careful, I could do a, use it to use a very thin line to just do my brows. I couldn't do that with black. It would look too artificial. So I could get my brows in with that. Also, if I wanted to, I could use it for a line 
on my eyes. So if I got brown, I could use it for mascara, for a liner, and to do my brows. So um, that's the two things I've chosen. I mean, you can sort of bite your lips, can't you? And um, pinch cheeks, <laughs> the things we did when we were kids. Um, but yeah, they're the two things I would pick, guys, if, if I only had two items of makeup. Now, skincare. Another dilemma, actually a bigger dilemma. <laughs> I'm thinking, what can we do? What can we do now? I'm taking it that we've got soap that we can wash with soap and water. Um, because it was makeup items and skincare items. So, I mean, if it was, wasn't, then obviously I'd be thinking about deodorants and soaps and shampoos. But I'm taking it that... We are just talking about skincare and makeup. So we've done the makeup, now the skincare. Um, the first thing I would take is coconut oil. I would take a big jar of coconut oil because it's so versatile, guys. It's so, so versatile. I could take my makeup off with it. Um, I could. It doesn't hurt my eyes. It takes all my face makeup off. I could still treat my hair with it. I could still wear it my hands. I could still use it on my body if I needed to. I can still rub it on my lips. And when I've done my makeup with the two, <coughs> please excuse me, with the It Cosmetic CC Cream and the mascara, then I would use coconut oil on my lips. I also put them on my lashes of a night. Put it on my lashes of a night. So very, very versatile. That's what I would use. I'd use it very lightly as a moisturiser. Definitely coconut oil. So the other one was a bit more of a dilemma, really. Um, what do I take? What do I take? I have to think. There's so many things I love in skincare. You know, guys, you've been with me long enough. You know that I love argan oil, um, coconut oil, which I've got with me. <laughs> argan oil, I love. Hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, rosehip oil, caffeine under my eyes, but I can only have two. So I've got the coconut oil. What's the other one that I would take? And I would go for rosehip oil um, because it packs a punch. It really, really packs a punch. If there's only one thing I could have that I could get right up under my eyes, I could put on my eyelids and go right down my decollete. Um, that's the one I'd pick. I'd cleanse with the coconut oil and then presumably I've got stuff to wash with. Um, and then the other skincare would be rose seed oil because um, it, it, it's hard. Oh, I love everything that I use and they all got their place and they're all important and I, I love my skincare routine you know guys I'm always talking to you about it but if I could only have the one thing yes it would definitely you know two things because I picked the coconut oil um, and the skin other skincare thing would be rose seed oil definitely um, yes without doubt rose seed oil okay my friends what did you think of that did you agree with me because um, we've all got our own our own ideas don't we some people couldn't go without a lippy and you know different things it's, I just tried to make it that I could do the best I can and use items that were sort of multi-purpose like the, the CC cream would do my sunblock um, and the mascara if I got the brown I could do lashes I could do liner I could do brows and um, coconut oil I can do a lip with right, my, bite it and put a bit of oil on and that would give me a bit of a lip so I tried to use everything that would go in together that would be the most versatile and skincare that would keep my skin as good as it could be for only using two products um, so yeah I really really liked that and it did cause me a bit of um, brain fog because I <laughs> Couldn't make my mind up what I was going to do. So now I have to tag two friends. Um, I was tagged by Pauline, as you know, from Pauline Just For Living. And I will t um, link her channel down below. And I tag two. And the two lovely friends that I tag is Frances from Happiness Sparkles is number one. Um, 
Francis and I have sort I think we've been around here about the same length of time really and we kind of grow in the same you know we've got a lot of common um, interests and you know we, we message each other and um, I've become very fond of Frances very fond she's um, she's a great gal and we like a lot of the same things and have a lot of the same tastes as well but I'm not a, ba a bag fanatic. I'm not a handbag fanatic. Our Francis has got more bags than Harrods. <laughs> They're lovely, and she always puts them together with style. So, yes, yeah, she's uh, she's a cracker as well. So, go over and see our Francis, and that's Happiness Sparkles. And I will tag her below, Francis. You are tagged. And my second tag is my lovely, lovely, lovely Marlene from Fab and Glam Over 50. She is just gorgeous. She's, do you know I love Marlene? She's really influenced me a lot because she's got purple hair and she, she's different and she wants to be different and she does not take any notice of what dates on her birth certificate. And I love that. I really love that. It's not, um, <coughs> excuse me, it's not, it's genuine. It's from the heart. She doesn't care what's on her birth certificate. Um, she'll do what she likes. She'll wear what she likes. Um, if it makes her smile, then she'll wear. And if it's not appropriate, she doesn't believe in age appropriate. And you know what I think about age appropriate girls. We won't go there. Um... But she doesn't believe that, and I love that. And she influences me towards that as well. She's got this gorgeous purple hair and the most fantastic spirit. Um, and she, she really, really has been a big influence to me on, you know, not caring and not thinking about should I do this or shouldn't I do that for my age. Not that I've ever had very much, but she's sort of second that for me. She's, uh, she's really strong on that, and I love her for that. So Marlene, Fab and Glam, over 50. Your tags, Marlene. So <laughs> I'll link all those channels below. Go and see my friends, they're lovely. Um, and tell them I said hi. Um, and I will see you again. Now, don't forget, don't forget, we've got a week next week. Oh my goodness, not only did I stick myself in here on the Saturday, you've got five days to put up me next week. So I'll see you on Monday, guys. Don't forget, I've got a week of collabs with my friends. So I really hope you join me with that because I've, I've loved doing that. I really have. So I'll see you Monday. You take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. God bless. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.